the uh, Clash and Danic Forest and uh, what makes it so unique is so far we've found 13 Scotch wildcats. It's, it's like a celebration when you see it on camera because you never get to see them. In the whole of Scotland it's estimated now that there's possibly only around 35 left. So obviously 13 is a pretty significant number. At the moment in here we think one of the, the main threats to them is probably forest harvesting that by chopping down the trees and forcing them to move if, if nothing else which again you know that could bring them closer to roads bring them closer to feral cat populations and, and people which could in turn lead to more hybridization so this is a uh, forestry commission or forest enterprise scotland um, that, that own this one i've personally showed the uh, forestry commission for wildcats they're well aware of the situation in the clash and Darick. they know there's wildcats here and the sad thing about it is they continue to log and the forestry commission are just going to keep continuing to log and to chop the trees down and clear fell and make out that it's really good for the wildcat the wildcat's going to go and once it's gone it's gone forever You know, the whole thing about a cat can move, it's, it's, it's not the case. They've got territorial boundaries and they won't just move, that's, that's the issue. I mean, the Clash in Darick Forest holds 13 wildcats that we're aware of, a third of the world population. And it's absolutely vital that the, the clear felling stops. If this, if this does go, I think the wildcat's doomed for the future. I think this is that important. It needs to be saved. There's, there's plenty of other places they can go and log in. It's kind of sad, if, you know, if we if we are the ones on watch when, when we lose them, it's uh, that's kind of heartbreaking, really. Mm -hmm.